Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Winter Wild Cards is coming this Friday, but of course, first, we've got the swaps program that is now live in FIFA 23. We had the drop yesterday of two different tokens, one for free and one in SBC, and the rewards are already live. I want to take you guys through this brand new swaps program, talk about the best possible value from the token grind, how many tokens there's going to be, and what this might look like, and how people are already redeeming tokens for four swaps because there was a very, very cheap and kind of decent value option uh, presented to us a part of this swaps reward. So I want to take a look at that and of course what to expect going forward from the swaps program because it's always kind of different uh, when we have a big swaps program like this going on. Now, of course, it's different right now because we still have the World Cup swaps that is ongoing as well for another 15 days. So that whole swap situation is very interesting at the moment. I want to talk about the market as well because guess what? Yesterday's kind Content did not deliver as it maybe was leaked to be. We didn't get that mid season two review pack with like the crazy uh, upgrade pack. We had an upgrade pack, but it wasn't that great. There was a lot of panic selling, and because the content was not insane, prices rebounded right a lot of people went out and bought cards from their lows that they were yesterday before content and on sunday night so a lot of prices went up including on the team of the week side of the market i want to take you guys through that because there's a potential to maybe check your club and clear out on some of those investments that we've been making all year long finally those prices are going up so i want to take a look at that and of course one last piece of information that has got people speculating a lot about league SBCs because EA added a pack or a card and it's not here in the game right now, but they added a card to the code that maybe looks like a league SBC player. We'll see, right? Don't get your hopes up too big. We're going to talk about it in today's video. So if you're excited for today, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about this winter wild cards swaps program guys this program is going to be fast it's going to be lightning fast compared to the um world cup swaps 25 tokens is what ea have told us these are all the possible rewards but ea's website says 25 winter wild card swaps in game right now they also say that there might be some bonus tokens in the store right it's the same thing that they said during the World Cup swaps, they said, hey, we're going to give you this many tokens and some bonus ones might be in the store. So again, 25 is the baseline number. Could we go above that? Yes. Now, actually, right now, if you look at the newest added players into the game, there are 30 winter wildcard swap tokens that have been added into concepts into the game. Now, just like we learned with the winter, uh, with the World Cup swaps that is still live as well, they might not use all of the cards. So don't plan your best value option here off of getting 30 tokens. I would stick to 25 and then anything bonus off of that, you know, maybe you can change it up a little bit or add something in at the end, uh, depending on how many tokens we do get. But 25 tokens is what's guaranteed. We've got an 83 times 75 pack as the biggest option inside of here an 85 plus winter wild cards player pick the 85 times 10 and then some other good packs and tonali and trippier and we can actually view these guys in the game because ea dropped the cards yesterday in the game and they also dropped the card design about uh, a couple minutes after content was dropped and people are already claiming this trippier card because it's two tokens for this trip year, which is even better statistically than what EA posted on their graphic. They posted 86 pace. He's got 88. They posted 84 defense. He's got 85 and they posted 78 physical, but he has 82. Some people think it's a glitch. Uh, I just think EA put the wrong stats on, on their graphic. I don't know if there's going to be any sort of compensation around this. If it was a worse card in game than it was on the graphic, then it might be a situation. But the fact that the card in game is better, uh, I, I really don't feel like there's going to be any sort of compensation or give back here if there is then that's great but i know a lot of people are doing this trip here right now because he looks like a solid prem right back and with the two leaks that we have of newcastle players we've we've seen the alan say maximum but there's also a leak for a nick pope as a part of a showdown we'll look at that in today's video i think people are going out and getting this trip here card for only two tokens right very easy to do and it's not a terrible looking card, kind of decent. But a lot of people also just have their tokens ready to go for what they might be grinding towards. Now, we talk about the best value with these swaps programs all of the time. What is the best value from Winter Wildcard swaps? If we're talking 25 tokens, I still believe 
that the 83 times 75 just gets you so many players for 20 tokens. 75 players. Of course, you're going to get a lot of 83s, 84s, and 85s in there. Yes, you have the opportunity to pack a big promo card, but with SBCs dropping constantly in this game, the 83 times 75 or 83 times 25 times 3 for 20 tokens, I think, might be a part of your best value scenario. Now, if you really want Tonali or if you really want Trippier, those are both solid cards. I think Tri uh, Tonali's card actually... Um, is really, really good. And AC Milan links are always needed. So that's not a bad option for 10 tokens. The 85 times 10 is 15 tokens. I also think it might not be a terrible option if you wanted to go the 85 times 10 route uh, to get those higher rated players because we all know this pack can be very, very nice. Uh, the 85 times 10 could be combined with the 85 times 25 standalone uh, or 83 times 25 standalone pack that is uh, 10 tokens on its own. So Maybe the 10 token 8325 and the 8510 is a shout as well to get you to your 25. Those two together could be very good. Um, and then other than that, like the 85 plus winter wild cards player pick guys, like 85 plus every single card in the winter wild cards promo should be 85 plus. I don't know why that ratings is set that low. That to me is a big gamble. You're only getting one card. Could it turn out great? Yes, of course. But that's very, very risky. I feel like this swaps program is about the packs. And you guys might be looking at this and saying the same thing. Unless you really want Tonali or Trippier. I mean, you can even get Tonali or Trippier and still get a really good pack at the same time. So, uh, but again, this really feels like it's a pack-based, um, you know, 8325. There's the player pick option here for the 84 plus times three for five tokens. You know, if I was going to spend five tokens, I'd rather get a Trippier and the 81 times 11 instead of an 84 plus player pick and even three of them at that rate. So really feels like the 85 times 10 um, and the 83 times 25 are the highlights of this Winter Wildcard Swaps program. Now, we might even see today another token because if you think about it right now, it says in game that these rewards are expiring in 24, 25 days. And if we're going to be getting around 25 tokens, right? That means they have to drop these tokens at one token per day kind of average. Right now, they might drop clumps of tokens, you know, every couple of days and do it that way. But EA even told us what objectives we're going to see it in. And one of the objectives they mentioned is the first owner fiesta, which if we take a look in objectives, this is where I think we might see our next token available today. The first owner fiesta friendly and um, this objective is expiring today at content on Tuesday. So I would imagine that today's token is going to be available in First Owner Fiesta, which using the uh, Life of Friendly Homegrown 11, get your First Owner squads ready for opening upgrade packs. You know, do whatever you need to do in your club to get your best First Own squad. It's not golden goal, but you get 12 matches a day, no lone players. Um, I just think that reading into the way that EA put things on there, they listed the First Owner Fiesta as the first opportunity for an objective. I just feel like with this going away today on Tuesday, I feel like that's where we're going to see our next token. So we had an SBC yesterday that was available for a few days, right? Of course, this was a really cheap SBC. It was a great way to get things started. All you need is like a silver squad. You get an untradeable pack and the token um, along with the rewards. So again, watch out for that first owner fiesta today. I think that might be where we get our token. Silver stars, and they also said some winter wild card objectives. Then they also even said SBCs like the puzzle challenges like we had yesterday and marquee matchups. So very descriptive from EA on where they're gonna be putting these tokens, but it's SBCs and objectives once again as it was expected but watch out for that fiesta first owner fiesta today so get your first owner squads ready um if you're like me you already have your first owner squad ready because that's your main team right so we'll be ready to go getting into that objective today probably going to end up being a bit sweaty but it'll be something to grind to keep that token kind of grind going now speaking of more content today on tuesday what are we looking at right i think yeah we do have a showdown leak that we need to talk about because as mentioned there is another newcastle card in the mix and if you were considering doing the Kieran and Trippier, which we're going to take a look at the market here related to that card in a second. A goalkeeper showdown, um, Newcastle versus Leicester, Nick Pope and Dan, I think his name is Danny Ward, Dan Ward, uh, two goalkeepers in a showdown. Very interesting. The, the key here is this SBC has to be cheap because whoever wins this game is going to go to an 88 rated card. And if they don't boost the reactions on goalkeepers, then this, this SBC will probably be an L if it's anywhere over 30,000 coins because a, a fodder 88 rated card is what, like 25 to 30K. So that's the way that I'm looking at this, but it also is kind of nice 
to get some special goalkeepers. We haven't had very many of them this year. I think a lot of people are going to be going for Newcastle and, and Pope for the links that he provides. And of course, being kind of a more well-known keeper in FIFA terms or in FIFA sense. So that's maybe part of content that we could get today. Um, other than that, I'm not really expecting that much. Today might be kind of a quieter day, another day where the market stays decently high. And if you see any panic selling, you might be able to get in and out of that to make some potential coins. Maybe there's a small chance of another gamble pack, as we like to call them. Uh, like yesterday, of course, we had the 85 plus semifinals nation upgrade, which this did make it was a very interesting uh, impression to the market with this SBC dropping, right? We need to take a look at the market because of this. It was an 83 rated and a team of the week requirement for that SBC. Team of the Week cards yesterday exploded. And this was something that we saw that was very, very nice. Uh, if you have informs in your club, they are selling for right around 17 to 18,000 coins on the market right now. Literally all informs, 78 rated, 76 rated, 82s, 83s. I sold a bunch of informs yesterday in my club for right around 18,000 coins because that's kind of their going rate. Now, if you didn't sell your informs in your club, I mean, you don't have to get them out right away because... The good thing about this SBC is it refreshes on Wednesday. If you take a look at the SBC section, this SBC is repeatable. Actually, it doesn't even say here on Footbin, but in the game, it said one day, 23 hours. So on Wednesday, I believe is the day. The 85 plus semifinals nation upgrade will refresh again. Since it's so cheap, people are going to go out and do it and watch out for informs because I will believe that they will go up in price once again. And this would be the optimal time to sell informs from your club if you have tradable ones in there that you invested in or maybe you just held from team of the week packs for a time like this the team of the week is going to be returning to fifa pretty soon because the world cup is over and ea is going to drop start dropping team of the week cards on a wednesdays every week here i think in the next two weeks or so so i think this is a perfect opportunity with informs uh being so supplied this year having this opportunity to sell them you know, at 17, 18, 19,000 coins, it is incredible to have this opportunity. Like I just went into my club and sold a bunch of these guys for like 17, 18K, right? That's what I would be doing right now. Or if you wanna wait till Wednesday, till we have some more demand hitting the market, that is a great, great time to do that, right? This is something that we always talk about, discard inform investing, especially for some like the 82, the 83 rated cards. Now is when it starts to pay out. I know so many people that were making thousands and hundreds of thousands of coins just from selling cards that were in their club that they had held on to. So that's a big thing to check your club for and to watch out for with that 85 plus pack coming again. Now, yesterday, of course, we did have the we did also have the 81 plus double upgrade, which this is actually good value. The only problem here is it seems like the pack weight's not that good. Uh, of course, all you need is a few non-rares. You turn in five non-rares and six rares. Uh, I'll turn an extra rare here because I'm, you know, a short of non-rare. But, you know, this is actually pretty good. It's an 81 plus double. So if you compare it to a regular gold upgrade, you're getting the rating guarantee and you're turning in, um, you know, only, only five rares. So it's not bad. Five rares and six commons. That's the equation that you need to get that done. But these are nice, right? With all the great special cards that we have in packs, this makes it a little bit more craftable, especially when you get two players that are 81 plus. A lot of board drops from these. As you see, I get one right here. Portugal, right back, Pereira, right? All right, I'll take an 83. Not bad. That's kind of what you want as a minimum for just about every single one. That's a pretty average pack, right? So try your luck with a few of those. Try to get some promo cards. Um... You know, that's a nice upgrade pack that is there and available. It's, it's craftable, right? You have that, you got the icon pack right now that is out. So to have an upgrade pack like this is very nice and craftable. It's also available for the whole week. So that is very, very nice as well. Um, and then, you know, just maybe stack those for the next promo as well. Winter Wild Cards is upcoming. These 81 plus doubles might come into play again later on in the week as we talk about Winter Wild Cards and getting closer to that promo and what cards we could see in packs then. So that's kind of all of the content yesterday for what we saw on the game. Now, also, with the content, like we said, being a little bit less desirable than we thought it was going to be, a lot of cards actually have moved upwards in price, and I wanna take a look at that. Now, a lot of stuff is still down overall, right? But take Gold Mbappe, for example. Yesterday, heading into the content drop, there was a lot of panic, right? Mbappe went from 950 all the way to 850 right before content, 
content dropped, the panic selling ended, and he rebounded back up because we didn't get one of those insane packs into the store, right? Everybody was panic selling yesterday because of, well, part of it was people were changing their teams up as well. People were going with Di Maria. They're going with the Argentina Lynx. So Alouar Jan went from like 670 down to 600K flat. He's gone back up to about 640, 650 where he is now. But yesterday just created an absolutely incredible opportunity to just straight up trade, right? To flip some of these cards. If you made any buy and sell um, calls yesterday, uh, there was a lot of profit to be made. I, I made a lot of coins yesterday because the market rebounded very well from the crazy low prices that we saw around the content drop. Now, that was very nice for like the meta side of the market. I mean, you take a look at this Arabi. Oh, even for a card that is very in demand right now with the Serie A links that there are out there, 96K yesterday morning rose up to 109K after weekend league rewards getting paid out. And just continues to go 133,000 coins. Some of these Serie A cards, I really do feel that they are reaching a potential peak in price, right? For a Rabio like that, that was 70K just a couple days ago, or maybe for a Lautaro Martinez that was 65,000 coins. I know we had the Di Maria and stuff, but guys, really be careful with some of these Serie A cards that have exploded in price because once that hype kind of ends, which I think it will be ending here in the next two to three days. With winter wild cards upcoming, people's focus is going to be away from the Di Maria and, and the Messi and all of these Argentinian and Serie A cards that people are wanting to use right now. And the focus is going to go back to the new promo cards in packs this weekend. So I would be a bit careful with some of these Serie A cards that have ballooned in price, like the Dumfries card from 35k to 58,000 coins. That card's up a lot. Just be careful with your Serie A and your Argentina links because uh, if those guys are in your squad, I think they're going to end up being peaking in price today or tomorrow. Should be kind of a peak uh, for those. But like I, like I said again, yesterday was such a big day. I sold all of my canes for a good profit. I made like 115, 120,000 coins on all of those. Some really good quick flips, right? I mean, I, I got a lot of like 30 to 40k profits on these quick flips, and it was just really, really good. Lazy listed and lazy sold some fodder still. Uh, as fodder prices are just kind of chilling. Some of them are trickling down a bit. If we get another game of SBC today, of course, that would pull them up, but I'm not thinking that that is super likely. Uh, for the game today what I would be watching out for for the game or for the market today would be just fluctuations right like I'm looking at some of these more rare cards just trying to find an opportunity where I could maybe buy one on a bid or a snipe or an undercut and just fluctuation trade because the market feels a lot more healthy after the last day or two than it did oh Marquinhos down to 650 show me like 630 and I'm in but you know the market feels a lot more healthy right now than it did just a couple of days ago but I think we're going to get to a point again this weekend with Winter Wild cards upcoming as the leaks start to come out for that and more information about the promo drops i think there might become some you know some panic might set in again for this very very hyped winter wild cards promo as we get a little bit later on in the week now let's talk about fodder really quick and then let's talk about the league SBC situation fodder of course as we mentioned the low tier is what's going up the most right 83s are now a thousand coins 84s are three and a half k it's the Di Maria it is that uh, 85 plus semifinals pack that is kind of demanding all that lower tier fodder and that's the stuff that is going up right we saw that the highest price is probably for a high our high rated fodder um you know on Sunday when the icon pack dropped 91s are still about 57k um, 90s are 48 49 so yes these guys are still up a little bit but it's a bit unfortunate because ea did not drop any more content yesterday that was like really really good so i guess a slight chance for more of something like that later this week but that's kind of what's going on with fodder at the moment uh and i would say in general for these cards as well a lot of them were low yesterday and they've rebounded back up like kane is 130 now foden's 290 i think these guys just like the phenoms did will get lower later on in the week as we get closer to winter wild cards. So be careful with any of these cards. I know a lot of them are cheap, but just be careful with those guys uh, as we get towards the end of the week on those cards as well. Now, let's talk about League SBCs because this is a very, very tricky subject because so many people are very excited and they want League SBCs so badly for this game. They want to grind the packs and grind the menus. Now, this card design was added yesterday and Foot Scoreboard said, before you all scream, League SBC release, Please note, this is a FIFA 22 card design, which it is, right? I went back and looked. Um, they didn't even use this card design last year, I believe. Uh, and it kind of reminds you of what they used to do back in the day. Or maybe they used it a couple times, like with these guys. 
Um, is that even the same design? No, that's even a different design, right? I think they didn't use it last year in 22, but they used it in 21 and in a couple of years earlier than that, back in the day when League SBCs actually gave out a player as a reward. So either this is EA just messing with us and using this card as like a placeholder for something, or there's actually something upcoming related to League SBCs, right? This card is called Squad Building Challenge. Very generic, right? So I would just say, be very careful if you're reading into this and thinking that it might be related to League SBCs. Be very careful getting excited about it because it's really a big unknown. And the fact that this is also a card design that was exact same as last year in FIFA 22, is very interesting. Like you would assume that they would at least update it a little bit if they were going to use it again in FIFA 23 or use it at all in FIFA 23. So uh, does this make me believe that League SPCs are coming 100%? No. Does it mean that there's maybe a possibility and a little higher of a chance than there was yesterday? Yeah, I guess. Maybe. So that would be something that would turn this game upside down for a lot of the menu grinders is the ability to grind the packs via the League SPCs. And especially if there's player rewards for it as well, there'll be so much hype for that. So I'd be very careful, again, getting super duper excited about it. Um, but just kind of keep an eye out there for what is going on in the League SBC realm, because that would be, again, massive for the market, depending on if they make the packs tradable or untradable. You know, that could impact the market a lot as well. So, guys, it's, you know, it seems like we're in the waiting period now for the Winter Wild Cards promo, which is dropping Friday, of course, as the loading screen said. But EA is going to keep us busy in the meantime with this swaps program. And again, like we said, it's one of those fast-paced swaps programs where we're going to have to be checking the content for where the token is every single day because they're going to have to drop one just about every single day. Uh, that's the pace that they're going to have to keep up since this program is pretty short. So watch for the first owner Fiesta tokens today. I just kind of saw that as I started to record the video and I'm pretty, I don't know, pretty confident that that's going to be the place where we get our tokens today. But that is going to be the video for today. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.